Okay. Hello, good evening ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy to welcome you here at the Archaeological Museum in Bolzano. My name is Oliver Peschel and my name is Martina Tauba. She's a pathologist here in Bolzano. I am a forensic pathologist in Munich and we both are members of the conservation team for ÖTSI. ÖTSI, perhaps you've heard about, is one of the most famous glacier mummies existing in the world. He's more than 5,000 years old and he was found a little bit more than 25 years ago in the Alps, close to the border between Austria and Italy. If we have a look here at the map, we can see in the central Alps the recovery site of Ötzi. Here's the Schnalztal and he went up the Schnalztal and then he died at this place where his body was covered with ice and snow. And this coverage with ice and snow led to a very special way of mummification. We say that this is a wet mummy or a humid mummy because the mummification went on due to the, um, to, to the ice and the cold temperature which leads to a kind of dry, drying, cold drying or freeze drying of the mummy. There are only very, very few dead bodies in the whole world being really good investigatable in this way because a lot of the soft tissue is really in a very good condition. And this is the great difference to other dead bodies of that age. So, we will have a look at Ötzi, will we? Let us do, yes. Tell me, Oliver, uh, Oliver um, Ötzi was uh, found in the glacier and he was there for 5,000 years. Yes. And now uh, he's in the Museum of Archaeology in Bolzano and in a special, very special cold cell. And this cold cell was especially built for him, isn't it? Yes. Um, when Etsy was found, he was first brought with a helicopter to Innsbruck. Then people recognized that he was not found on the Austrian uh, side of the border, but on the South Tyrol side of the border. So 1998, after he was found 1991, so approximately seven years later, he was brought from Innsbruck to Bolzano in a museum which was specially built for him. And there are some questions you can ask yourself when you think about looking at a mummy with an age of 5,000 years. So the first question is just normally, if a person dies, we'll bury the person. Why don't we bury Ötzi? So Ötzi is for us the possibility to have a close look to the human conditions and the human living 5,000 years ago. If there were only bones left, there is much less possibility to do investigations on a lot of things like diseases, like habits, uh, like genetic um, disorders he may possibly have. So we can do a lot of investigations on the soft tissue which is in a really good condition and the more the time goes on the more possibilities and techniques we will have to do such investigations so in 10 20 50 years we will have techniques for investigations which we actually can't dream about so this is the sense and the reason why we try to keep at sea in a condition which is as good as possible. So, the best condition for Etsy was obviously made by nature. Because 5,000 years of being a mummy was only made by snow, ice and cold temperature. And this is what we try to simulate here in this cold cell for Etsy would be 
would be very nice if we had some light to have a look mm -hmm. at it. You have um, to go one. Yes. Hi. Right. Um, if you can look through the window, um, this is a second very important point because um, to keep a mummy to do investigations is one thing. To keep a mummy to have the possibility for the people to look at it is another thing. You can't discuss about that from an ethical point of view. Um, here in the museum the decision was we don't show people a fake mummy. We will show them the original mummy but we won't exhibit it in a kind of a stylish exhibition where everybody can look at a dead body. Here the way of exhibition is the mummy is kept in a cold cell and there is only a small window where only one person can look through. So it's not exhibited for a lot of people looking at one dead person. So it's a kind of a close connection coming together due to that situation. So that everybody is an individual um, looking at the mummy and when he goes away the next, the next man or woman has a possibility to have a look. Um, when we look into the cold cell, Ötzi is placed on a glass plate which is standing on a scale to have his weight every time recognized. And in the room, the room is filled with tiles from frozen water and there is a temperature of minus 6 to minus 7 degrees Celsius. And with that and a humidity of close to 100%, we simulate the circumstances in the glacier which kept Etsy alive for 5,000 years. You can imagine that there is a lot of technique behind that window which you can't see. You only see the window and the wall in front of it. But the technique standing behind that is very impressive and Martina will have a look at the technique and explain it to you. So, let's go to this model. This is the exposed and the You can see it here. And as you can see, Oliver stands before at that point. And if you look closer, it's really a small area with the cold cell that you as a visitor can see from outside. But all these rooms behind, all that is reserved for the technical stuff. We have a monitor sending, examination rooms, laboratory, cool system, all that. And you see the relation between this small area this, that you can see as a visitor and all the whole area behind. So, I would suggest that we go really behind to have a look, to have a look oh, at the techniques. Can, can you hear? Uh, yeah, speak a little bit louder. Oh, it's, it's loud. Uh, it's it's very really loud. loud here. Yeah, yeah. Why? I'm, Why it is so I'm, loud? I'm, I'm not a technician, are you? No, no. I'm not too. We are so. both physicians, so we can't explain technical details. What we can explain to you is this is the cooling system. These are generators producing cold water and cold air to cool the mummy and to cool the cell in which Etsy is lying. You see a lot of things and a lot of silver uh, rolls. Um, nobody can explain to you all the single parts of this technic uh, technical equipment apart from specialists which are only responsible for the cooling technique. And I think um, we have the best cooling technicians in the whole world doing that so. work on um, that machine. And not only that, but also for all computer freaks. Have a look inside this. You can see here all the computer system 
that is needed for, uh, for the um, refrigerated cells to keep ongoing the, the cool cells and all the monitor sending center. And the very special on this whole system is this is not only one cooling generator and one computer, these are two cooling generators, two computers. Because the whole system is based on two legs. Every leg is one for itself completely functional cooling system and electronic device to do all what is necessary to keep the cool cell running. So if there is one defect in the cooling system, in the computer system, um, then immediately the other system will go on and do all the work so that you can repair what is going wrong or where is the defect. So then let's have a look at the cells. At the cells. Because, Oliver, every six to eight weeks, let's see the mummy needs a humidification treatment. And where does it? I can show you. Okay. The, humidif uh, the humidification treatment is necessary to keep Etsy in his condition. He was lying in the ice for 5,000 years. So I told you we tried to simulate that. And to simulate that, it belongs also to put a small layer of ice on the mummy with water, water dust which is freezing immediately at the moment when the water dust comes on the body. And this is done in one special cell. Before we do this, Martina and I went in that first room to undress or to dress, to change our dress, uh, to go on with uh, very clean clothes, very clean caps. Yeah, yeah, like surgeons. So, like surgeons in the operation theatre. And then we go to the next room. And this is the investigation room. The investigating room is immediately close to the cooling cell of Etsy. And if you have a look inside here, you see the big door with the silver ropes on the side. This is the door to the cooling cell of Etsy. We open it, we take him out on the glass plate. He's coming on that table where we also can do some investigations. You see a microscope and so on. And then he's lying and we put the fresh water dust on the body. So this cell is then also cooled down to minus two, minus three degrees Celsius. So it's very cold when we do this operation. But this is necessary to avoid that the mummy becomes warm and uh, then there would be a certain loss of humidity and the loss of the ice layers. There is another room with another window here. And if you look in, it's dark. And there is nothing in it. This is the second cooling cell. Not only the generators, not only the computers, also the cooling cell is existing as a kind of a double. So if there is one defect in the main cooling cell, then we can put Etsy into the next one and the next system is changing and is keeping on uh, the freezing for Etsy to avoid that the body is going to be warmed up. So I think that is all really very interesting, but um, we saw the, the computer room, we saw the whole cell, we saw all the things here, but it's not possible to come every day to check if it's, let's see if it's the money yeah. does well. So it's the another system that you can uh, control? Yes, of course. But of course, our, every time the conservation technicians, they will be here every day, of course. Yeah, and they will, And they will also have a look 
if there is something going wrong because then there will be an alarm and they will be waked up and there is a ring on the phone and there is a ring at technical support um, 24 hours 24 hours 365 days a year mm -hmm. and a little bit of that we can see here here is a second computer control room which shows only one example here is the freezing cell with the table, the glass table and the scale where Hertzi is lying on and you see at a lot of points there is registered the temperature, the light, the humidity and the weight of it continuously. And if he would have to be brought in the second cell then there would be a second technical equipment for to do all the same as we do it in the first one. So there is a kind of maximum safety and security to keep Etsy in a condition um, which he had 5,000 years ago, to make it possible to do investigations, to do research on Etsy in the next decades. And to have a look how heavy he is actually and what's the temperature actually. You see also here the technical uh, parts are all in, in, in double and actually he has 16 kilograms and 428 grams and the temperature is minus 7.26 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. Stable. Impressive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, quite impressive. So, I think we have been able to give you a short overview concerning the technique which is standing behind the views you can have as a visitor when you come to Polisano and you go to the Archaeological Museum. So we hope to welcome you once in Bolzano in South Tyrol and we say goodbye. Have a nice day, have a nice evening.